Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And today, before you buy an airplane, you need to ask yourself three questions. So before you buy an airplane, you need to ask yourself these three questions. Number one, what am I going to use it for? Number two, can I grow into this plane or am I going to outgrow it? And number three, where do I want to take my aviating? These are the three basic questions you need to ask yourself before you make your airplane purchase because this will define what kind of plane you're going to buy and also it will help you define your budget. So I know you want to buy an airplane and I know you are serious about it because you clicked on the video. I also know the major questions that are already producing a struggle in your mind. How much should I spend? Can I afford it? What about the insurance? What happens if my wife hates it? Will my kids like it? Will it cost more than I can afford? Will this be just a big problem? And what if I change my mind? And all the other questions that are probably badgering you. Well, I've got one thing to tell you. Stop. Stop right now and listen. You are going about this backwards. So with a purchase like this, you have to start with the end in mind first. An airplane isn't just a thing. This is a tool that will enhance your life, giving you and your family new experiences and add new dimensions to your life. So just think about it for a second. You are going to be flying to the beach for a weekend or flying to a different place to go to dinner. And who gets to do that? Well, you will. I used to sell yachts and I always talk about that analogy and it really can be the same. You have to define your airplane and how will you use it first and that will define your budget and answer all the other questions because the mission for your purchase will be well defined. And then once the mission for your purchase is well defined, then all the other questions will just fall in line and you'll be able to answer them. So start with the end in mind and work the purchase backwards. Answer these three questions before you buy a plane. Number one, what am I going to use it for? Am I going to get my private pilot rating in it? Am I going to get my instrument rating in it? Am I going to use it for business, family trips? or just weekend lunch runs or vacations. This will define what type of plane you are going to buy. Obviously, you have an idea for a budget, kind of under 50 or around 200, whatever that is. But the answer to this question will narrow that scope down. Be specific and honest and realistic with yourself. If it is only lunch runs on the weekends, there's nothing wrong with that. That is what you want and that's the kind of plane you want. A cheetah is the perfect plane for that. Number two, can I grow into this plane or am I going to outgrow it? Am I just getting this for my private pilot's license or am I going to be getting my instrument in it also? And will your flying be bigger than your plane? So just think, if you have a couple of kids, you're not going to want to buy a Cessna 150 because after you get your rating, you're going to want to bring your kids somewhere and you can't just toss them in the back. So here is the biggest. Where are you going to take your aviating? This was king for me because I knew about 10 minutes after my first solo where I was going to take my aviating. I wanted to get into aviation ministry and I will need my multi and I will need my commercial and I'm going to need a bigger plane. So where are you going to take your aviating? You don't have to come up with that answer right away, but keep this in mind. The answer will help you define your mission. So all these questions will narrow down your scope and help you define a budget and the type of plane that will fulfill your mission. My one piece of advice, don't be afraid. Take the leap, keep your mission in mind, and you will buy the right plane for your needs. I hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Hit like, hit subscribe, tell me what you think, tell me if it helped. And remember, if you're over 50, just get up and do this thing. Thanks for watching.